क्वेश्चन इज एन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव इज प्रोपेगेटिंग अलोंग दी एक्स एक्सिस द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज गिवन ई इज इक्वल टू सेवन फिफ्टी न्यूटन पर कूलम एंड दिस इज यूनिट वेक्टर जे फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑफ फोर्टी मेगा हर्ट्स दिस इज द पिक्चोरियल वेव सो यू कैन से दिस इज द वाई एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस एंड दिस इज द जेड एक्सिस Uh, we have to find out the lambda and t. Lambda is the wavelength and t is the time period. And second point, we have to find out the electric field, and then after the magnetic field. So, how to find out the electric field and magnetic field, and these two parameter lambda, that is the wavelength. and time period this t so first of all lambda as you know that what is given first you have to write that given e is equal to 750 newton per coulomb along the j direction and frequency you can see f or nu is equal to 40 mega hertz this is 40 mega hertz so if i have to find out this a part that is lambda and t you know that nu is equal to c upon lambda so lambda is equal to c upon nu see the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and frequency is 40 mega hertz 40 into 10 to the power 6 per second right so the you will get this 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon 40 into 10 to the power 6 meter and this two power cancel here uh, and this is 300 divided by 40 so answer is approximately 7.5 meter this is the wavelength second part is t t is equal to you know 1 upon nu so this is 1 upon 40 into 10 to the power 6 per second so that will be equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 8 second so by this way one can find out the frequency and time period and now we have to find out the electric field what do you think that how one can find out the electric field what is the given first of all you have to check it when you check it you observe that there is a unit vector j that indicate the y component of the electric field and this is the magnitude along the y direction so e this is e basically is e y right or e is equal to 750 newton per coulomb and this j so when you write the e e is basically e not e raised by iota k x minus omega t right so this 750 is what 750 is the this maximum value of e this is the 750 newton per coulomb that is the e not so here in this question this part is basically 750 so you have to put that value here then you will get e y right so e y that is the function of x t 
why i am writing function of x and t because wave is propagating along the x direction right so because of that i am writing here this is the function of x and it will be equal to 750 e iota with proper unit i have to write here newton per coulomb and this exponential part iota kx minus omega t now the point is about this k and omega how to put the value of this k and omega in general you know that k is a wave vector and magnitude of this k is equal to 2 pi by lambda if you know lambda you can find out find out the k simply that is the magnitude so if i have to find out the value of k that will be 2 pi upon lambda was 7.5 meter so this 2 pi is uh, 360 divided by 7.5 meter so the answer is approximately 0.838 radian per meter radian unit for the this 2 pi and second point is about the omega if you keep omega is equal to 2 pi nu then it is 2 pi 40 mega hertz that is 10 to the power 6 this is in unit of radian and this is in per second so the unit will be answer of it will be 2.51 into 10 to the power 8 radian per second so now you have the value of k and omega put that value here and by this way you can write the value of e and that is e y x and t is equal to 750 newton per coulomb e iota k is 0.838 x minus omega is equal to 2.51 into 10 to the power 8 t now in earlier as uh, was the question we have to find out this is the form of e we have also find out the b right and, and that b as you know that if e is along the y direction and we propagating along the x so magnetic field will be along the z direction so this is the z direction so here i can write bz that is the function of x and t will be equal to how much what will be the value of that but my question was that if i have to find out the b b z or magnetic field component along the z direction in the same sense as i have find out here for the electric field component then what will be the form of this equation like this so if i have to find out b z as you know that for that i have to use if i have to find out b and e is given then i will use faraday law third equation of maxwell that is del cross e is equal to minus del b upon del t here you know that y component is given right e x and e z is equal to 0 so if uh, i solve this equation here 
the del cross e can be written as iota j k del upon del x del upon del y del upon del z this e x which is zero e y that is given and e z is equal to zero expansion of it will be i so with respect to y this is equal to zero and here y is function of x and t when you will write here this one differentiate with respect to z this function it will be zero so zero minus zero minus j when you expand this determinant with respect to j then that time this is zero and this factor is also zero so j is zero plus k k in this sense differentiation of this with respect to x allowed this factor is zero so you can write here del e y upon del x on the right hand side this is minus del b upon del t so you can write it minus del b x upon del t i minus del b y upon del t j minus del b z upon del t k so uh, this is the right hand side right and the left hand side is this one so if i compare the component of i j k of both the side so here del b x upon del t is equal to zero with respect to this minus does not matter so del b x upon del t is equal to zero del b y upon del t is also equal to zero for the j component so del b y upon del t is zero and in case of del b z upon del t this factor is equal to this one and along with this minus so here i can write del b z upon del t is equal to minus del e y upon del x if i have to find out this b z then b z can be written as minus this factor as it is differentiation of e y with respect to x and integration of this vector with respect to time dt so by this way one can find out the value of bj if ey is known so here we know that ey is this vector ey is equal to 750 newton per coulomb ei 0.838x minus 2.51 into 10 to the power 8t so if i to if i have to differentiate this equation the result will be i can erase here this part and write the direct part differentiation of it with respect to x del e y upon del x y function e y is a function of x and t so it will be 750 newton per coulomb as it is and differentiation with respect to x so this vector iota and this 0 0.838 comes here iota 0 0.838 and exponential term now 0 0.838 x minus 2.51 into 10 raised power 8 t so this is additional part right in uh, case of del e y upon del x so now what we have to do we have to just uh, integrate it with respect to time so this is the uh, factor of time in exponential term so here basically you will see that this factor will be divided by this 2.51 into 10 raised power 8 so when we simplify it for this integration we get bz that is the function of x and t is equal to 
2.5 into 10 raised power minus 6 tesla and rest of the part as it is e iota 0.838 x minus this 2.51 into 10 raised power 8 result is this one so by this way we get bz and uh, ey xt so directly we one can find out it if uh, you know that e naught upon c is equal to b naught this is the standard result if you know e naught you can find out the b naught divide this e naught by c that is uh, speed of light you will get b naught so in this question when e y is, is given in terms of the numerical value like here new 750 newton per coulomb and with this unit vector actually there are two informations are given one is the numerical value that is the maximum amplitude and second is the component so here we have to check this point and this is e naught so directly from this result we can find out the b naught the lambda t of the wave omega k and electric field component e magnetic field component b and also the maximum value b naught amplitude e naught was given so these are all the parameters of a electromagnetic wave.